हेलो वर्ल्ड गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग लेडीज जेंटलमैन गर्ल्स एंड गाइस वेलकम बैक टू रोबोथॉट्स जीरो टू हीरो सीरीज रोबोटिक्स एंड विजन इंटेलिजेंस ऑन जेट्स एंड नैनो और एट गाइस वी आर ऑन लेसन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री कंट्रोलिंग सर्वो मोटर थ्रू रॉस सीरियल इन जेट्स एंड नैनो इट्स अ प्रेडी इंटरेस्टिंग लेसन वेरी शॉर्ट लेसन वेरी ईजी टू डू इफ यू फॉलो each and every step what i am going to show you all right guys in the previous lessons i showed you how to set up your ros serial on jets and nano how to configure your ide and start communicating with that and i showed you the ros underscore live file library files and you know bunch of other stuff so i hope you guys are ready with that and i am getting lot of very good feedback from my viewers thank you guys thanks for encouraging me and i am going to make tons more lot more videos uh, in the coming days all right guys so uh, all we need to do is just put together a small circuit diagram so this is what the drawing is all right this is the this is this is how your servo is connected basically uh, your signal pin is connected to the digital pin 9 and then the black one is on the ground and the red one is going to be on 5 volt all right of arduino it's a pretty simple drawing and i am going to show you something more so how do you start the servo motor right so how how, how are you going to control that through ros serial it and it's going to be in four different terminals right so we need to first launch the ros core and then initiate the python library and then initiate your uh, the usb port you need to open it up and then start giving the command in another terminal that's how the entire logic works all right guys it's let me show you how to go about it and i have already set up my uh, circuit this is this is my servo motor right and and i have connected as per the circuit drawing a ground pin and uh, and the signal pin going into digital pin 9 and to a positive uh, the 5 volt uh, uh, pin and of course the arduino is connected to uh, the serial port of jetson nano guys the servo you can use any servo motor you want all right let me just make it little bigger so that you guys can see it so you may use any servo motor a little even a low cost one is fine absolutely fine i am using little pretty uh, kind of a good quality one but you can go for that 200 rupees stuff that will work perfect no issues at all all right and i am going to share the terminal as well so that you can see the command which i am going to give that will execute the movement of the motor all right i hope you guys can see the motor alone all right guys now let me switch over to the terminal i am going to log in i have already logged into my jetson terminal let me just open it up and then of course we need to open a terminal here so how do we do that a right click open terminal okay the first thing you need to do is arduino you need to open arduino ide through terminal all right a r d u i n o and then you will obviously see this error but do not worry about it just minimize this all right and my friend arduino will be hiding somewhere behind let me just drag the screen there you go it's here okay now let me just try to make it little bigger uh, hold on a second guys sharing multiple screens on a single video sometimes becomes a challenging stuff but that's okay you got to be patient in these things
Oh, why am I not able to drag it? All right, there you go. All right, guys. Now what we need to do? We need to make sure that uh, uh, our Arduino is communicating with the Jetson Nano port, which is in my case it is ACM zero, and in your case it might be USB zero or whatever. Uh, but most of the cases ideally it is ACM zero all right uh, let me check so the port yes dev slash TTY ACM zero I am connected to ACM zero and obviously the board is Arduino UNO all right now what we need to do you need to open the sample sketch which came along with your ROS underscore live file so the sketch name is called servo control so sketch is nothing but it's a pre-written program guys it, it's a program right it's, a, it's based on C C++ uh, why my mouse is not working just give me a second guys this is kind of weird behavior All right, what we need to do is go to file and go to examples and then you can see ROS underscore live, right? So here you need to open servo control, uh, uh, the, the program which is pre-built already. All right, so let me show you, let me just open it for you. All right, and once you open the program, so what you need to uh, do is let's load the sketch into arduino so yeah so it's connected to acm0 and let's load the sketch all right i am just uploading it's a very simple program guys basically your uh, uh, you know servo.header file is included that is your library and then your ros library is included and then you are giving a command one time set up the white setup is set up in such a way that you are in a pin mode uh, your servo as an object is connected to pin number nine of arduino and you are setting up an executable file in python it's pretty simple and if you know c c plus plus it's very easy to understand if you do not know not to worry i am starting a parallel series uh, programming c C++ on Arduino so not to worry about that all right guys now minimize this do not close it all right minimize this okay the program is loaded now right click and open terminal where is my terminal okay the terminal is hiding again somewhere here this is my terminal <coughs> so what we need to do uh, we need to launch ROS, okay? ROS core. How do we do? R O S C O R E, ROS core. And there you go. If you look at the bottom of the screen, it says started core services, which is good. All right. Now, the most important aspect, guys, what you need to do, you should never close the terminal. All right you should just minimize it all right just click this minimize it and then open one more terminal all right now where is this terminal let me find out where is the new terminal there you go it's here so now what we need to do okay let me just expand this okay all right now now what we need to do guys <coughs> basically once once your ROS core is launched right it's running at the back end now you need to launch ROS serial python node all right this is very important because you need do you remember i i spoke about multiple nodes how you are how you are sending a subscription and then you are receiving the message in a different terminal so that's how it works <coughs> so 
once you open the ROS serial, how do we open it? So let me show you. You you need to make sure that you give access to your uh, uh, your USB port of Jetson Nano. All right, so that it communicates to Arduino. All right. So this is what the command you need to execute. So ROS run space ROS S E R I A L ROS serial underscore python s e r i a l underscore node dot p y and then a space forward slash d e v forward slash t t y and then uppercase a c m zero that is your port guys a c m zero is my port and your port may be a c m zero or something else you need to check go to that file or the, the settings and check it up all right and let me execute this command all right ross serial python node connecting to requesting topics which is good so now set up subscriber on servo which is a good news all right guys now let me minimize this terminal okay we need to minimize it not close it let me minimize this and now let me open another terminal okay now where is this terminal hello my friend where are you yeah it's here okay now what i am going to do i am going to execute another command to control your servo from 0 to 180 degree angle because i am using 180 degree uh, servo so if you use 360 degree servo there will be a slight change in the arduino code in the sketch all right it, it's a minor change it's pretty easy guys I, i'll teach you how to do that okay so here we are using 180 degree uh, uh, servo so how to change the angle rotate the motor from 0 to 180 degree like this all right so let me show you how to do that so what you need to do execute this command and the command is called where is my cursor r 1 what happened to the mouse Give me a second. Sometimes this just a nano hangs pretty weird. And especially when you are connected to multiple systems and I'm trying to make this video for you guys. It's, you know, not an easy task. Uh, okay. And the command is going to be... Uh, ROS topic ROS topic space PUB with your publishing it servo space STD underscore MSGS all right messages forward slash uppercase U uppercase I lowercase n t 16 all right now before i execute this i will shift my video and show the servo so what you need to do after this command you need to give a numerical number 0, 0 to 180 degree whichever degree you want to move your motor all right that's the command you need to give after hitting space okay either 0 or say 180 or say 90 whatever right and then you need to hit enter it will send the command to the ROS serial through the ROS core and it will execute your Jetson Nano will execute this program into your Arduino and your motor starts operating running that's how it works so let me show you how it works so let's say 90 degree right so before I execute let me switch my screen uh okay it's here where is my terminal 
and this is my terminal let me bring it on the top and then drag this window for you guys so that you can see the servo okay now i am going to execute say 90 degree let's hope for the best it runs now watch out <coughs> watch out this servo guys okay let me hit enter 90 degree it didn't work maybe it's already 90 degree i need to set this position correctly that's fine you can just come out control c okay and then you on your keyboard if you press the upper arrow key you can go back to the previous command okay and then let's change the position say 180 now watch this servo guys 180 there you go cool so it's moved to 180 degree it doesn't show 180 here because uh, the horn which i fa the position of the horn which i fixed this is it's a little bit wrong so i need to just unplug it and uh, you know plug it in a correct direction now let's check control c uh, let me say 90 degree okay 90 there you go perfect i think this is moving in a perfect direction guys as expected as in intended let me control c let me check what happens if i give say 60 degree slightly it moved which is fine control c and then go back to the previous command by hitting the arrow key let me say zero degree okay this is zero degree now control c let's say 180 degree 180 okay there you go so guys i hope you understood <coughs> i hope you understood uh, uh, this session I, i'm trying to keep it as simple as possible at a layman's level so that you folks can understand from the scratch and start building with the command right so all you need to do is first uh, uh, you need to uh, you know build this circuit just plug the servo into 5 volt and the ground and 9 uh, and digital pin 9 you can use any of the digital pins guys but you need to change the program going back to uh, the IDE and uh, you know pick up the sample right uh, and then you you know the first terminal you open the first terminal launch Arduino and then make sure you are connected to your port and then your second terminal Obviously, you need to check whether you are connected to your, uh, uh, you know, have you launched the ROS or not. And once you launch, then you execute the next command. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson, guys. And I am going to come back to you soon. I am going to show you how to interact with multiple sensors. And then we are going to connect uh, a motor driver. Then we are going to connect the DC motors. And I'll show you all those things. And then we will get into teleop where through the keyboard, you can control the movement of the motors and then we will get into IMU and I'll, there are tons of other things guys so it's going to be really interesting all right I hope you are enjoying this session and do leave a comment if you have any questions and suggestions I will reply to you goodbye